Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content that I'm going to show you tonight is something that we introduced right when the Cargill case came down. We told you that everything the left was going to do was going to orientate towards a political push to try to regain the momentum based off of gun control desires. There's only a few very serious problems with that, and just like clockwork, they have confirmed it right now. I'm going to show you everything, and we are, as usual, right in front of them to pass the blessing of the Second Amendment along to the next generation, and thank you for checking it out with me. Everything will be linked in the description box below. Per usual, I always bring the receipts, and make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on if you are down to spread some freedom on the daily with me, and that Second Amendment right that we got is going to the next gen, and thank you for that consideration as well. And this content is made possible by Tag Pack. I hope you guys enjoy this. Everything we link is in the description, and then we're going to get to this. And the sponsor today is Tac Pack. Now, Tac Pack is a subscription box service of stuff you'll actually use. It is professionally curated and geared, again, that you will actually use. Aimed at an audience specifically to an AR-15 enthusiast, this is something that you would get an absolute use out of. Plus, if you use the code Langley, you get a $65 additional EDC kit just by using that code in your June Tac Pack. An example of something that came in one of my Tac Packs, Boom, and that's just one item. Now these are extremely useful products. They are high dollar value boxes and they're easy to cancel whenever you need. You're again, you use Langley, the code Langley for $65 for your own EDC kit to get thrown into June and it's just in time for Father's Day. So make sure you check it out. There's a link in the description and I can't wait for you to get one just like I did. All right, beautiful people. I hope you had an amazing Father's Day. I know I did, but we have some freedom to pass along to the offspring of which we became fathers for. Let's get it. Oh, the beauty of this. So in the introduction, one of the things that I love the most about what I do, and we get to have these conversations every single day, is we get to predict where the left is going to go because they forecast it every single time. They're extremely predictable animals, all right? So I want to show you something that kind of lays the groundwork for what they're trying to accomplish, okay? Because I promise you're not going to see this anywhere else in the 2A space because this is kind of one of our things. But check this out. What I'm showing you right now is based off some, of some YouGov polling, and it's a ranking of the important issues, and this is really important. I put the red box around guns at 4%. So it's way down there. We're talking about 9 or 10 on the position of important roles. Okay, Which is why a couple of months ago to a year ago, we said they're going to start trying to push the gun momentum, the gun control, the gun narrative in order to replace the things that were actually more important to people. So, for example, inflation, healthcare, immigration, jobs, the economy, things of that nature that were so much higher ranking, they were going to try to readjust that because they're weak on the top right now and they viewed themselves strong on things like guns. Okay? That's why I'm showing you this right here. And when we were talking about the Cargill decision that came down, this is something that Amy Swearer, who is a 2 a rock star, if you want to follow someone on Twitter, she's amazing because she goes in front of Congress all the time. We cover her. One of my little 2A heroes, to be quite honest with you. Check this out. Even if you loathe the 2A, you, you should still love the Supreme Court's decision in Cargill. For a case centered on guns, it had nothing at all to do with the right to keep and bear arms and everything to do with the rule of law and constitutional government. And, of course, per usual, she's right over the target. Now, what are you going to do if you're on the left? And this is the part where we start playing chess with these people, and honestly, we checkmate them all the time. If you're looking at this from a perspective of you just got lost, the ATF overreached all their authority, and they are taking L's left, 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 and only because they're on the left. But legitimately, if your executive bureaucratic overreach is getting stymied all the time by a court, you're going to do one of two things, and probably both. You're going to call the court out of whack and insane, which they've done consistently. But then you're also going to do this, and this is the piece that you guys get to take direct action on, because this is massive. Five months out of an election, they're going to pivot. Check it. ATF Headquarters. Statement from the ATF Director Stephen Dedebach regarding the U.S. Supreme Court's ruling in Garland versus Cargill. And this is going to be a theme you've seen across all the different lefties on Twitter, all the leftist politicians, state and federal. Listen, quote, as the 2017 massacre of nearly 60 people at a concert in Las Vegas made clear, weapons equipped with bump stocks pose an unacceptable level of risk to public safety. In light of today's decision, the President has called on Congress to take action on bump stocks, and ATF stands ready to work with Congress to ensure that these devices no longer pose a threat to American law enforcement and the people that they protect. Now, of course, the irony of this is exceedingly high, 
because they just got stepped down from usurping the power of Congress. So after they just made up new rules whole cloth, and they decided that this is now a rule, therefore it's the law, because it carries the penalty of law, even though Congress didn't write a law, but the ATF interpreted a law at the behest of the Biden administration, completely circumventing the separation of powers. Now that they got smoked on it, now it's, we look forward to talking with Congress about how we can ban bump stocks through the legislative progress, um, uh, process in congressional law. So now it's okay for congressional law. These people are disingenuous as the day is long. In fact, just on cue, this is what we were talking about when they do it. Guys, these people are predictable. This is the statement from the Biden-Harris headquarters. Biden-Harris campaign statement on Trump's Supreme Court's justices striking down a ban on bump stocks. Um, it's literally the United States Supreme Court, but they're trying to politicize it to further their other congressional bids because they are getting smoked in the courts at the top of the ticket. I mean, in the polls at the top of the ticket. Listen to this. And guys, you have to understand the, the calculus behind this. Because again, even in the introduction there, statement on Trump's Supreme Court justices, they are trying to politicize it against him, even though it was Trump's ban to begin with. Let's keep going. Trump did this. Biden-Harris 2024 statement on SCOTUS bump stock decision. And the irony of that is, of course, Trump did do it. I'm not saying that anything beyond the fact that he did it. Trump's ban is the one that just got overruled. But here they're saying Trump did this with a Supreme Court decision. So it's kind of like a, he did it, but then he did it again. It's kind of a weird thing. Anyway, details. Quote, weapons of war have no place in the streets of America, but Trump's Supreme Court justices have decided the gun lobby is more important than the safety of our kids and our communities. If you care about the gun violence crisis in this country, there is only one candidate in this race with a proven record of successfully taking on the gun lobby and only one candidate who will ban assault weapons and high capacity magazines. That's President Biden. Donald Trump, through his words, his actions, and his Supreme Court nominees, makes it clear every day that he doesn't care if the American people live or die at the hands of weapons of war on our streets. He tells us to get over it. Trump only cares about the safety, security, and freedom of one person, Donald Trump, Biden, Harris campaign. So what you have to understand, beautiful people, is they are going to start to politicize this for down-ballot congressional appeal for Democrats to try to hold the Senate, of which they are not favored to do, just based off of the states that are up for election this year, try to hold on to the House, and in some miracle bomb miracle, Biden gets reelected. That's what they're hoping with this. They're trying to bump up the gun problem that, they, that they're pitching up higher over all the issues of which they're getting smoked on, and we are here every single day to remind them and also get out there and get in front of it. Because if, you sh if we show you the roadmap and we show you where they're going, we can get in front and we can stop them right in their tracks. That's what I've got for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Did I land this plane or not? And I will see you on the next one. I'm Brady. See you later.